Hey, Facebook friends, uh, happy Wednesday afternoon. Hope you're having a good week. I want to uh, talk to you about loyalty today. I want you to think with me about loyalty. I uh, came upon this uh, poem, or uh, part of a poem written by Rudyard Kipling. It's inspired by Ecclesiastes, a book in the Old Testament, Ecclesiastes 7.28, uh, a reminder about the loyalty. Solomon says only one person in a thousand uh, would prove loyal. Uh, and Kipling wrote uh, these few lines. He said, one man in a thousand, Solomon says, will stick more close than a brother, and it's worthwhile seeking him half your days if you find him before the other. 999 depend on what the world sees in you, but the thousandth man will stand your friend with the whole world round against you. Now, that's a great reflection on uh, the virtue of loyalty, isn't it? Uh, maybe you've uh, had the, uh, the, 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 uh, the blessing uh, of having a person in your life who is uh, that kind of loyal friend, uh, maybe a, a friend, a family member, somebody uh, close to you. If you've had that kind of person who you knew was the one in a thousand, uh, then give thanks. And if that person's still around, uh, maybe today's a great day to reach out and uh, just express briefly uh, the importance of their friendship and their loyalty to you and how, uh, how, how they've helped you through uh, maybe through something hard or maybe just through a, a long period of, of perseverance. Maybe you've had the chance to be that loyal person, to be that loyal friend for somebody else. And, uh, and, and if you haven't already, then maybe it's time for you to look around. Uh, look around and uh, see who God has put in your life uh, and see who could use uh, one extra dose of what you have to offer, uh, what you have to offer. Because, you know, you know, we don't always click with every person that we meet. But when we do click, uh, then, there's, uh, then there's something good there. There's something growing there, uh, a sign that that person's in your life for a good reason and you're in their life for a good reason. Uh, so reach out, uh, maybe express that if you see somebody that needs something right now, you can be that loyal friend. You can be that one in a thousand uh, for somebody else. And, and we all, we get the ability to do that. We don't just kind of, you know, emerge in that overnight. But as followers of Jesus, friends, we know that we have one. Don't we? We have one who's been loyal to us. Uh, Paul writes in Romans, if God is for us, then who can be against us? We know that God in Jesus Christ has shown his loyalty, his great love for us. And so if Jesus is for us, then we can be loyal on behalf of someone else, for someone else. Let's pause for a moment and pray together. Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done. Uh, Father, grow in us a sense of loyalty to the uh, people that you have placed around us. Give us appreciation uh, for those who've been loyal to us uh, and give us the courage and the strength to be loyal and, and, and lend our strength uh, to others uh, who may be uh, in need of that one bit of encouragement in this, uh, in this particular season. Father, we thank you for the gift of Jesus who shows us your great love and your great loyalty, and we pray in his name. Amen. Hey, thanks for checking in this afternoon. We'll see you again soon.